Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Simply Cinnamon. What's up? I am so glad that you stopped in today. We are going to be making our own homemade body oil. It smells absolutely amazing. It's my little liquid gold. Last week I did a video on dry brushing and the importance of using a body oil after you dry brush. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link in the description box below. There are six different oils that go in here and two different essential body oils that go in here. You can put a seventh oil in here, but that oil is a little on the pricey side, so you can omit that if you don't want it in. Um, there is also coconut oil and sweet almond oil, so if you have a nut allergy, you may want to omit those as well. So let's get into the kitchen. Let's get mixing. I can't wait to share this recipe with you. My husband's going to be doing the filming today. Thank you, babe. I love you so much for doing that. So let's get mixing and I will be explaining as we go along about all the oils. So let's get started. Okay everybody, so we're here in my kitchen. I have all my oils uh, laid out. Now it is gonna be a little bit of money to collect all the oils, but in the long run, it's gonna be cost effective because it's gonna yield so much product. So the idea behind it is you wanna use equal parts of each oil. I'm using a half a cup of each oil today because the vessel that I'm filling is a little on the small side. So if you have a big pump that you want to fill, you want to use more oil so you can use a half a cup. So let's get started. We're going to start with jojoba oil. I got this at my local vitamin shop. It was around $13. Now jojoba oil is good for healing eczema and psoriasis. It also helps acne control. And then we're going to move on to olive oil. This is going to be $4 and up depending on where you buy it. Um, olive oil helps protect against UV light. It has vitamins A, D, K, and E in it. The next oil that we're going to be using is coconut oil. It's about 4 or $5 again depending on where you buy it. Um, coconut oil adds shine and it soothes the skin. It's also an antibacterial. We are going to be using baby oil, which is just mineral oil with a little bit of fragrance in it. Now baby oil helps retain moisture and it softens the skin. I got this for about two bucks. Then we're going to move on to sweet almond oil, which is a natural site source. <laughs> Sice is a natural source of vitamin A. Retinol is a derivative of that, and it's going to help with dark circles. The next is vitamin E oil. It blocks free radicals and um, helps heal dry, cracked skin and helps with age spots. I got this for around $2. And the last oil that we're going to be putting in is Moroccan argon oil and this is the oil that I talked about that's a little on the pricey side this for two fluid ounces cost me about twenty dollars so I'm only going to use about an eighth of a cup of this you don't have to use this oil you can certainly leave this out it's not a necessity to have it in but Moroccan oil helps with um, skin regrowth and it plumps up the skin and the two essential oils that I'm going to be putting in is lavender and frankincense. And lavender oil helps uh, relieve nervous tension. It's also a disinfectant. So you want to put about, I'm losing count, about 10 drops in. If you want it more smelly, then you put in more. Um, but it also enhances blood circulation, which is awesome because we want that pink rosy skin that's going to get our blood pumping. And then frankincense oil. Now I just recently learned about frankincense oil and frankincense oil is going to help lift and tighten the skin and slow the signs of aging naturally. And it also helps protect the skin. It's, a, it's an, an astringent. Can't even talk today. So my husband's filming. What do you think of this scent, Bri? You like it? it smells great, babe. <laughs> He's camera shy. Whoops, in the oil we go. No big deal. Okay, so you get all your oils in there and you're going to mix them all up. Make sure that they're all nice and combined. 
Now you do want to melt down your coconut oil. All I did was stick mine in the microwave for about 30 seconds. It already smells absolutely amazing. Now this is a more, you think all these oils, my skin's going to be super greasy. Let me tell you, it is not going to be. Now, like I said, if you have a nut allergy, then don't use the coconut oil or the sweet almond oil. Put in a little bit more baby oil or jojoba oil. I would not add extra olive oil because that is a heavier oil and it might actually make your skin like super greasy. But add one of like a baby oil or jojoba. I mean, as you can see, I'm putting it on my skin and it is, it is absorbing. Get your words together, cinnamon. It is absorbing super, super quick in the skin. And the scent, it really truly is just a beautiful combination of oils put together. So then I'm going to take my, my pump. I got this at Target for like 12 bucks and get a colander and we're going to slowly fill it. Okay, so I have a little bit left here in my bowl, as you can see. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have a glass jar that I washed and sprayed with alcohol and let sit so it's sanitized. I'm going to pour the rest of this in just an, an airtight empty jar and I'm going to store it in a cool dark place. So when you're running low, you just refill it and you know, you're good to go. So this is the oil. It's not only a beautiful color, it's a beautiful scent. I think you guys are really, really, really going to enjoy this oil a lot. See how soft my skin is, babe? Yes, it's very soft. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to get this put away, and I'll be back to you in just one minute. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I really enjoyed sharing it with you. Make this recipe your own, guys, really. If one of the oils is not for you, change it to something different. Same goes for the lavender essential oil. If that's not your scent, there's so many different flavors that you can choose from, really. Um, I would not change the frankincense for the skin tightening properties. But other than that, the sky's the limit. I want to thank my husband for filming. You're a real sport, babe. Love you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me. I would love to hear back from you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You know it would mean the world to me if you did. I'm sending you light. I'm sending you love. Be blessed. Have a great day. And I'll catch you in my next video.